Hello everyone, Allie here and welcome to the gold mine. Thank you for joining me here on another episode at Allie's Treasure Trove. Today I do actually have another mail unboxing from the one and only artist Matthew Hirons. Now if you do recognize that name, it is because Matthew did make that gorgeous art of me as Padme for our one year anniversary special. Go ahead and link that video right up there, one year anniversary special part two over on Titan Cards. And I love that piece so much. And now I do have some of his art from actual sets, which to be honest, I have actually let them sit here ever since that video. So I'll show them off again. Didn't think about it till actually just right now. But I do own several of his sketch cards from various years of Star Wars Masterwork. Do have the set of the two 2019 uh, top Star Wars Masterwork here, the Hera Syndulla. Uh, sketch cards. He did just make two for that set. Let me see if it focuses. And then I also actually pulled this in a gift box for Christmas from Boss Man to myself. Uh, Moff Gideon from 2020 Top Star Wars Masterwork. And I've seen a lot of his art before. Always love it. Always makes gorgeous pieces. I do like that style. I don't know what I'd call it. It reminds me kind of like spray paint, but with texture, especially these newer sketches from him that do have, it reminds me kind of like a Polaroid grainy feel. I don't know. I just really love it. But as you guys may have seen on the channel a couple weeks ago, I did do the first ever episode of Alley Reacts where I took a look at the different options, prices, and images for Star Wars Autograph Universe send-in signing and pre-order signing for David Oyelowo, voice actor for Agent Callus from Star Wars Rebels. And I actually did get a couple of pieces done in the work. This one right here I'll be unboxing here from Matthew. Do have a second one on the way that I cannot show to you guys at this point. I have to keep it a secret and then potentially a third if carlos my friend carlos does have time to get that done before the deadline of next friday so we're gonna see how that goes thankfully everything's in florida oddly enough this time star wars autograph universe's send-ins are usually in like texas or so uh somewhere in florida carlos is in florida i actually did message the people who you know are in charge of own and or run star wars autograph universe saying hey uh things are late. Can I just go over there and hand it to you guys in person? And they said, most likely, yes, to look for me to let them know as it gets closer. I don't know if that's just special for me or something, uh, but uh, they said I could drop it off. So if worse comes to worse, push comes to shove, and it's like real close, I can actually just go over there. Um, I'm a little bit scared of sending this stuff in anyways. The mail sometimes is vicious. So we'll, we'll see how it goes, but I'm going to be opening this one up here. I'm going to be asking you guys what where you think I should get this piece signed. Now, we'll give you guys a bit of a spoiler. It is a two-character piece here. Uh, so, of course, I'll have David Oyelowo sign over Callus, and you guys will see the second character. And I'm considering adding a quote, which I hadn't thought of until I was, like, just laying around in bed this morning. Be like, you know what? Kind of want to have it say, by the light of Lethal's moons. But I'll let you guys judge based on the image if you think that's something I should splurge for. I don't think it's much more expensive. It's not the extra, like, 800 bucks or so it was on the Natalie Portman quotes. Um, I mean, it's not, like, free, but it's it's not really that much expensive. But I, I want to, I you know, have your guys' advice. Ultimately, I still will, of course, make my own decision. It's my piece. Um, and you guys can't tell me to have them sign it, like, neon, neon orange. And, like, that has to be it because you guys said so. Like, it's not going to work like that. But I will be looking at your guys' suggestions for this piece here. So let's go ahead and switch spots. I am opening up still on the, why is it, oh, because it's the color. This happened before last time. Uh, I was during, I think, the 10K special. I was like, why is the camera weird color? For some reason, the, the camera doesn't like the, man, man, well, not manila envelope, but like the yellow envelope color. See, now it's going back to like normal warmth and tone, but it's like super washed out there. And dark. That's weird. Uh, anyway, so we're just going to actually open this on up because we don't need to look at the bubble mailer. Bubble Mailer did arrive in pretty nice condition. Unfortunately, Andin did have a piece uh, arrive today bent in half for the Amelia Clark signing. Rip Andin. I know he said he was going to have his wife try and fix it, so fingers crossed. Everyone say good luck, Andin. Andin just got power back from living in the frozen Texas, and now his art's bent. Um, big sad. But anyways, Andin's been having a struggle week. Struggle week and a half, two weeks, extended struggle. Anyways, let's open this up. Let me make sure I'm recording. That would be awkward if I wasn't recording. But all right, let's go ahead and unbox this here unboxing. Throwback to the time I messed up and said unboxing once. All righty, all righty. So, hey, that's cool. A little thank you note. Matthew has such an artistic signature as well. All right, let's extract you. Oh, all well, the extraction needs to be done this way. The corners look a little 
And as you guys can see there right here is a little ding in here as well. But I think that's actually just a backing board. I'm not sure how I want to, I have to look at the Star Wars Autograph Universe because they actually have like a guide for how to prep your stuff for send-ins. Um, I honestly might go down the street tomorrow. Well, not, to, well, maybe, I don't know. I might want to actually just go buy. I mean, like larger size top loaders are expensive, but I might just go for it. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember that Peach Momoko mail video I did here actually several months ago. Uh, but that thing was absolutely chewed up by a sorter. Uh, the only reason that package survived without any damage, and full disclosure, that was about $3.2,000 worth of art in that package. The only reason it survived was because of all the hard plastic. So I might just... At this point, what's like an extra $10 for a top loader? You know what I mean? Like, it's not, it's not, it's not that bad. It's not that bad of a price. But, do, 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 do. Okay, let's see what we're doing here. With that painter's tape, when we pull... Pull it open. Now, I do think the art is on the other side. I did see some color. So I don't think this is necessarily a backing, but it isn't that size to my knowledge. So of course, I mean, it is a little yeah with the corners, but you know what? You get it framed. You're literally not gonna see it. That's gonna be covered by the mat. Well, let's take a look here. Okay, yeah, so you can see where it would be for, but there's my piece. We do have callus and zip here. That can be cut or it can be, you know, like matted around the frame. So that's cool, lots of options. I do like how there's a little bit of room for edge wear, you know, cause stuff happens, especially with the mail. But it is an uncut art here. I think it was eight by 10. Uh, but yes, here is the piece that I did have specially made. I went through the, uh, I don't remember what the actual episode, uh, for, the honorable ones is the name of the episode. Ignore that, I said I didn't know what the episode was called. But it is like, I think like episode like, either eight or 10 of season two, uh, where they're stuck on the uh, Bahrain, the ice moon of Genosis, and Callus starts to be like, wow, I kind of am a giant, giant asshole. Wow, maybe I should not be a douche. I'm getting away with it for the last time. We did actually hit the 4,000 watch hours and my AdSense account is in the process of being approved. So that'll be probably the last time you hear me say something like that. But you know what? That is actually literally what happened in the episode. But anyways, now that I've unboxed it, I'm actually going to go ahead and hold it up here. Just because I feel like, the, well, it's because the camera zoomed in. That's why it is. I'm like, why does it always feel like it's too zoomed in? Uh, because of the way I have it set, if I zoom it out, actually, um, it gives too wide of a view. And you can see the external play mat and my storage and top loaders and whatnot. So I'm going to hold it up here. But yes, very gorgeous art here by Matthew. Thank you so much, Matthew. The bubble mailer fell down the side of the trash can, made a really weird scratching noise. But this is one of three or two, we'll find out in the next several days, most likely. Things that I will be dropping off slash sending into the send-in signing. I also, you guys did see me purchase the pre-prepared photos with the two alley on it, yes. Uh, but yes, I'm actually curious, I'm not 100% certain what I want it to be signed in. I'm thinking either silver, purple, or pink. Let me know what you guys think. I'm not 100% certain on the color. I might also go throw it up in the actual, the Facebook group for Star Wars Autograph Universe being like, hey, what do you guys think? Because uh, I'm not used to stuff like this. I mean, I know me personally, when I sign, like one time, the name is slipping my mind, but one person actually was accidentally mixed in with the, the gift mail for the Christmas special and Titan cards. Sent me some photos she had made to have signed. And I wanted to sign in like matching colors to like my outfit and like the background and whatnot. And unfortunately, like, yes, it was a good color match, but you couldn't see some of them particularly well. Same thing when people have me sign cards. I'm like, oh, it's a green dinosaur. I want to sign in green on a green card. And it kind of gets washed out. So I feel like just because I think it might not look, it might look good. Uh, I don't necessarily trust myself with stuff like this because this isn't something I'm used to doing, if that makes sense. So I'm thinking maybe... I mean, I think the pink would look cool, but the thing is, if I have it pink up here, then it's going to blend in with the resistance symbol. Uh, so maybe silver to match his outfit, or maybe to match his hair, I should go gold. Uh, but let me know your suggestions. I'm thinking most likely having it signed right up here, and maybe you could have a quote put in there or there. I'm thinking, you know, to have him say, by the light of the false moons, this, the, uh, you know, the code, you know, the code word that he was using. Uh, and then actually, interestingly enough, I actually tried to meet him once, actually, Bossman didn't give me the time off a couple years ago, but Steve Bloom, 
actually comes to MetroCon Tampa quite frequently. So whenever, I guess, the convention circuit starts up again, a good chance I'll just run into him at some point. Or if there's a, another signing, because uh, Star Wars Autograph Universe has done the Rebels cast before, uh, I just send it off to have Zeb, Zeb's signature. But more than likely, I'll be able to run into Steve Bloom in Tampa. Also, if you did not know, Steve Bloom also did the voice for Vincent Valentine in uh, Final Fantasy Advent Children. Anyways, enough alley creepy time. But yes, this is one of my pieces. I'm very excited to get this signed. Very excited. Thank you so much, Matthew, for squeezing me in, working with me. Really do appreciate it. I love this piece here. Okay, I, I got it from the end of the episode screenshot where they accidentally fell, fell asleep on each other and they're all cute and then they woke up and they're like, eh, get off of me. You know, but I screenshot at the moment where they're kind of like, alley creep zone. But anyways... This is super cute. I love it. Let me know your suggestions. Would you go for the quote? Do you think it would make it too busy? What color? And do you agree with my approximate positioning of like right up here on maybe along even the resistance symbol for both of them? Or should I go across like right here and then have space? Have right by Oh, you know what? That's a good idea. I like that too. Have David sign up here. Like have like here for David, here for Steve. And then have him right across the middle by the light of Lethal's moon. I think I'm liking that one. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. But that'll do it here for this episode of Allie's Treasure Trove. I know it is a quick one. I was like, what am I going to open today? And I was like, oh yeah, I dropped this package off on Saturday because I wanted to open it. Also received like a mystery package from Tops. And by package, I mean it was actually an envelope. Let me show you guys that. Let me black out my address first. But this is really cool. I got like a little envelope from Tops now. And I actually had meant to open it during the alley chat. And I'd actually forgotten. Uh, but oops. Oh, it ran away. Oh, I sleeved it too already. So that's cool. Now let me move that envelope before I dox myself. Um, but it came with a little card. And it's weird because I, I don't think I've ordered more than one card. I think I literally only ordered the Star Wars, the uh, Battle Droid Living Set card this year. And that's it. But it's a, a thank you for being part of the Tops Now family, and it gave me a coupon code for 25% off a, a team set of my choice for the Road to Opening Day team sets. It's cool, though. It's like a little Mike Trout card. It's like extra foily and stuff. I'm like, oh, cool. Tops sent me a card. So if you receive something like that in the mail, unfortunately, it's not like a free bonus. I mean, it, it's a card with a coupon code, so it's still technically a card, but loose, loose, loose term there. But hey, you know what? Cool promo. I like it. Thank you, Tops. I appreciate the gift for me not really doing anything. Like, I actually didn't even buy the Mando's Season 2, like, episode sets from the website. Like, I actually joined a group buy for that so that they were, like, a bulk discount price. Like, I didn't actually even get those from Tops. I'm trying to think, like, did I order anything else? I honestly don't know why they sent it, but I appreciate it. But yeah, that'll do it here for this episode of Dally's Treasure Trove. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you're going ahead and hit that like button. It's always appreciated. Always love seeing it. But yes, uh, Allie is potentially being monetized. Everything's being reviewed. Of course, I think some of these videos that I've made up till now won't uh, fully make it. I'm a little bit sus on this channel sometimes, but you know what? It'd be like that. Sometimes you just got to speak your mind. I'm going to have to be a little bit more mindful. Not too much. Don't worry. I'm not like going to change or anything. I'll just be more like Titan Guard's channel where I'm like Space Godzilla Death Candy Cane. You know, sometimes you substitute some words. Sometimes you find different mannerisms to convey the message. So just watch out for that. But thank you so much, you guys, for watching the channel so much. Thank you so much. I've noticed we've been getting a lot of subscribers recently. I'm not sure where you guys are coming from, but I really do appreciate it. I know actually those Slay the Spire playthrough videos, which aren't the greatest, you know, I'm not like a professional or anything, but I noticed you guys have actually been really enjoying that. Good like ratios on those and really decent views compared to other regular episodes here. So I'm really glad you guys are enjoying those and hope that you'll continue to enjoy them in the future because I'm really liking that. So I'm going to be doing that for quite some time. Like I said, the Alley Play segment will have varying games. Once I figure out how to get this Nintendo Switch set up here, I can start playing some Switch games. Uh, actually, for a decent amount, last week, at three hours, I sat and I played my Kingdom Hearts Rhythm game. I think that's why I had a migraine. I think I just played it too long. I I, I unlocked the uh, special run for the original, actual, um, you know, A Whole New World. You know, the Aladdin and Jasmine song, of course, from Aladdin. And I'm like, I refuse to do it on anything besides proud mode. I'm like, I know the rhythm to the song. I should be able to beat it. 
I kept like losing right at the end, but I was actually having good scores. It's just sometimes I'd, I'd miss stuff. But anyways, I got that. I think I got an A rank, so I need to get that to like a triple, a triple A plus, which I think needs to be actually a perfect. I'll do it though. Aladdin's my favorite Disney movie, by the way. Anyways, this has nothing to do with what I was talking about here in this episode. Just alley life updates. You guys like extra content. Look, I talked for an extra five minutes. Helping that watch time. But yes, if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure go ahead and hit that like button. Like I said, if you have any thoughts on my thoughts, different suggestions, go ahead and leave those in the comment section down below. I really want to hear your guys' advice. Have you ever had, like, autographed photos, like, send and sign, or, like, do you own any... Do you think I'm right on my hunch that it will get a little too washed out if I do like a pink or a purple? Because that was my first inclination. I'm like, that would look nice. The colors would match. But I think they might match a little bit too much. So definitely let me know your thoughts, suggestions, any comments down below. Maybe I can have David sign in silver and Zeb sign in green for the outfits. That might look good. And I, I am really liking that quote idea right across the top. By the light of the falls moons. Yeah. But that will do it here. So if you're not yet part of the Alley's Treasure Trove family and you'd love to see more from me, also don't forget to go on ahead and hit that subscribe button. Before I go, I also must give a super big shout out to all of our patrons over on Patreon. Thank you so much, you guys. Really do appreciate a lot of the stuff on this channel. Wouldn't be possible without you guys. I really, really, really want to give my thanks. Do have three ultimate excavators, Jack Perez, Keith Muta, and Steven Olivo. One gemstone miner of Andon, like I said, leave an F for Andon in the chat. And we also have a crystal collector, Daryl Wise. But thank you so much, all of you guys, for your above and beyond support. Of course, all patrons do have their name shown on screen at the end of the video. Really appreciate each and every one of you. And that is it for me here today. I'll, of course, be back on Thursday, most likely with some more Slay the Spire. Might actually be able to do a little bit of a longer episode, of course, you know, given that I, I don't lose the game right away. Or even if I do do a couple of little runs through, uh, just because, unfortunately, we're still not getting all of our product in over at Titan Cards on time. The Star Wars did arrive at the Southern Hobby Warehouse, but they did not ship it out in time, so that won't be here till Thursday. Uh, so we will have a lot of Pokemon openings on the main channel on Wednesday. That's it that's coming in. And then the rest of it we'll just have to figure out. But I'll catch you guys there. Of course, Titan Cards does have uploads Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, at Saturday through Sunday for that big old stream. And then, of course, you do have the Tuesdays and Thursdays here and every other Sunday for the time being. But that is it for me here. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Take care, stay safe, and I hope to catch you next time as we unearth some more treasures here at Ali's Treasure Trove. Take care, everyone, and I hope to catch you again next time. Bye!